What's going on? Welcome to Shred Gaming, and today we're gonna do a little recap on the Street Fighter 6 beta that I got to test out this last weekend. We're gonna go over all the things that I liked, the little bit that I didn't like, which really wasn't a lot, the overall feel of the game. And if you can, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Currently at 148 subs, trying to get to 200 by the end of the month. So please help me out with that. Now, without further ado, let's get after it. First off, right out of the gate, the game was beautiful. I have never seen such a good looking fighting game in all my life. This is a super good looking game. The feel of it was great. I like the whole hip hop aesthetics of it, the use of the spray paint in the movement. And um, even in the battle hub was super cool. Like I actually really like the music that they played. It made me feel like really relaxed. Like you're just chilling, waiting for the next game. The overall feel of the battle hub was great. Now I wanna tell you the key to this game for anyone who didn't get to test it out is resource management, which I'll get to that in a little bit later. So first thing we're gonna get to is character balance. Balance. Now, I felt the game was super balanced. Ryu was viable, he was fun. Ken was super fun to play as well. Uh, Luke was also a lot of fun. He had a lot of heavy pokes with some meaty kind of in your face play style. I felt like Jury was a lot more offensive to play in this game than she has been in the past. I feel like in Street Fighter V, she was more reactionary and more setup heavy. The one thing I really liked about this game was that every single character was unique and they each each had their own strengths, their own weaknesses. And my favorite part was that every character could win or lose against another character. There wasn't one character that was so overpowered or so underpowered that they either overused or underused but the characters more so fit the play styles of the player they kind of complemented you in the way that you played. And the second thing I want to talk about is netcode. Netcode was almost perfectly done. I had no issues. I think I got disconnected one time and that was actually due to the person I was playing against had bad connectivity. Um, that's usually due to the person's IP. It has nothing to do with the netcode, but that was really the only troubles I had. I had some friends that uh, I played against in Texas, in the Midwest, uh, in Poland, in Germany, and one in the UK. We didn't really have a lot of issues. Yeah, there was a tiny, tiny little bit of lag, but it was nothing that didn't take away from the game. We had a lot of fun. And the third thing, the most important part, game mechanics. Now, I know a lot of people have a problem with drive impact and a lot of people really like drive impact comment down below tell me what you guys think about it but really i really liked drive impact i thought it was a great equalizer i thought it was a great tool to way to close gaps get past those projectiles i really like the idea that if you saved your resources and someone was on burnout and they were against the corner that you can use drive impact to you know push them against the wall for a stun I thought that was really cool. However, I will say I think Drive Impact needs to be more of a bigger special to where it uses more resources. It was only worth one bar. I feel like it should be more like three to five. Like it shouldn't need to be overly used. But the cool thing about it was is risk reward. If you whiffed, you were going to be punished or someone could possibly counter your drive impact with their drive impact and then they would punish you for it so yes there is risk reward to it which i really really liked but like i said i think the resources for it was a little bit underwhelming it should have been more like three to five bars instead of just one and then there was drive rush which i thought was a really useful tool as well um, if you hold down your parry and then you double tap forward you can actually charge in so it gave everybody a gap closer but but that does come with a little bit of a risk because you are open to punishes, but it did allow you for a second hit, which was a plus on block. And it also allowed you to um, create combos off of that or do block strings, which I thought was actually pretty cool. It gave everybody uh, an equal opportunity um, to have big setups and to able to combo off of it, which was cool. But also with the balance of it, it did come with risk. And the last thing is perfect parry. I thought perfect parry was perfect. I mean, to say the least, but perfect parry was really cool and that you were rewarded with bars if you hit it. And also I like that 
to use your parry, you did have to risk using a bar and the risk of being thrown, but it blocked literally everything and you were rewarded for blocking everything. So you would actually gain bars upon uh, taking a projectile or taking a hit. But like I said, doesn't come without risk. You would be able to be thrown if you held it down. Now, the cool thing I really like about parry is that it doesn't allow those pesky zoners to just sit and zone you the entire time and just throw projectiles. But with parry and drive impact, Street Fighter VI actually encourages action, which I really liked. You don't just sit and wait. You can't really turtle. I mean, you can, but it doesn't come without risk. And it encourages people to take action in their playing. Because if you take too much action, you will get burnout. But if you take too little action, you will also be punished and get burnout. I just felt the game had a great balance to where it encouraged people to try to counterplay, to play, to manage your resources. There was a lot of give and take in the game and that's why I felt like this was such a perfect fighting game. It was so, the game has been so well done and I'm really looking forward to the next beta and I'm, I'm, in post beta depression right now. This game was so much fun and I wish I would have had more time with it. I wish just one more day. If they would have given me one more day to, you know, mess around with some of the characters that I didn't get to, to really hone down uh, the perfect parry and hone down the drive impact. I mean, the game actually forced me to really work on um, the mechanics of using my fight stick and really work on execution, which was really great for me. And it helped, the game literally helped me improve as a player. So I wanna know what you guys think. Did you like Perfect Parry? Did you like Drive Impact? Did you like Drive Rush? Personally, I liked all of them. I thought they were really, really well done. I think the only thing is Drive Impact, I think needs to use more resources because it can be overly used. But I also did like that specials use the same resources. It's all about resource management and taking action. The game is set around those things. So there's a lot to do. There's a lot of give and take. But thanks again for watching guys. Again, trying to get 200 subs so please help me out with that until next time shred out